Lin Chan and Dimi Chan cook food. Hello everyone, today I'm going to make pho. I begin by deciding and measuring out the ingredients. For the spices, I have cinnamon, star anise, coriander, and cloves. I am guesstimating how much to use based on the number of servings, which is two in this case. And for the vegetables, I have onion, ginger, and daikon. I used to work at a Vietnamese restaurant and learned that I need to roast the spices to bring out their flavors. I roast them for a few minutes. Then I grill the onion and ginger. Next I started on the broth. Since I'm making beef pho, I'm going to use beef bones. I add just enough water to cover the bones and bring it to a boil. I also added some salt to flavor the broth, which turned out to be a mistake. To keep the broth clear, I skimmed off any impurities that accumulated at the top. I continue to boil the bones and once there is no more scum, I added the spices and vegetables. I added a little more water just so all the ingredients would be covered. After cooking for 30 minutes, I checked on the broth and it was extremely salty, likely from the salt I added at the beginning. So I removed some of the broth and replaced it with fresh water hoping to dilute the saltiness. Two hour has passed and the broth is done. I'm going to strain the broth and season it. For the broth, I only use beef bones, which turns out to be not enough to give it a beefy flavor. Next time, I will want to add some beef meat in with the bones. The broth is not as clear as I would have hoped. Then I season it with more salt and MSG. Hello. So now it's time to taste the broth after many hours of cooking it. Um, here we have just two bowls of thin slices of beef and I just want to taste what it'll, I just want to see what it'll taste like with the, the meat and the broth together. It's like a typical pho then. Y yes. So this is like a, a typical filet mignon or like a, a beef pho is that the meat is rare to start and then the hot broth will cook the cook the meat as you eat, right? Mm -hmm. That seems like it did cook it for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. 
Mm. And if you if you can't find sliced, or if you can't slice meat at home, try to find shabu shabu cuts at your Asian grocery store. That's typically what they're called, right? Yeah, it's they're usually meat for like hot pot. Because they're cut thinly, so that way they boil quickly. Right. Or they cook quickly. So, well, first off, I think <laughs> the meat, the, what's it called? The the broth is probably not hot enough to cook the meat right now. Mine's cooked. Yours is cooked? Mm-hmm. So, how's the flavor overall? So, I see several problems with this broth right now. And the first problem is that... It's not very clear, as you can see. It's a bit cloudy. And that's the first problem. A bit is an understatement. It's entirely cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I don't know to what extent it needs to, it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but tends to be quite clear. But not as, not that clear. Mm -hmm. Like it's clear enough, right? Mm -hmm. So. Mm. Okay, the broth is not hot enough to cook this meat right now, so I think we should not eat it. We're probably gonna get sick from it. No, we're really fine. Or it does have a really weird taste. The broth, though, I don't think it's it's good either. It's Hmm. I, I really don't know what it's missing. It's, it's lacking in depth, I say. Mm -hmm. Like the, 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 the saltiness, the spice, the smell is there. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. You can smell the sarnie specifically. And you can, um, and it's very salty. <laughs> so, and I didn't really add that much salt. Mm hmm. I wonder if the bones were already salty. Oh, so maybe I should have blanched the bones rather than keep the broth that was with the bone. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Did you keep the? I did. I maybe should have blanched it beforehand. Mm hmm. I think you you blanch it completely. You get rid of that water, get rid and of then that you have water. fresh water, and you don't have the the gamey flavor, which I think crept in. Does it taste weird? A little bit, yeah. That weird gaminess. Mm -hmm. It might have just been the meat, not... Mm -hmm. The broth has it. The broth has it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this is my first attempt at making pho. <laughs> well, you, you made it before, and last time you made it was quite good, actually. So Two last time, last time I made it, I kind of cheated in a way. I made it with fry, like scratch ingredients, but at the same time, I also added in uh, like bouillon, which are like condensed powder form of pho. Mm -hmm. Like you know, they off you can find them in a lot of Asian supermarkets where they it's already cooked and condensed down, and it's it's in a box like this. So you pretty much just add one or two cubes with the water and voila, you have a broth pho. So that's what I kind of did last time was I mixed this in with, you know, fresh ingredients. <laughs> or you showcasing fresh ingredients. But this time I decided to, I'm gonna try it from scratch with just the fresh ingredients from what I think, she, like, you know, I did a rough research to see like what are some of the common spices that are used and then I kind of uh, just eyeball in a way guess a certain measurements for them and then cook from there mm -hmm. so in terms of the spices and the smell the flavor I think it's right but taste it's a bit lacking mm -hmm. <laughs> right yeah Oh, well, you don't you don't learn by not doing, right? Yeah. So, so I say overall first attempt. <laughs> Free lima. You're so special. <laughs> Is it good? Mhm. Mm 
Got stuck in your teeth. Oh, I'm sure. So, okay. Well. Did you try it with the, maybe the voices? Did I it did. improve any? I don't know. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I don't eat pho all that often. <laughs> yeah. I usually eat pho whenever I feel sick. I wanted something warm, you know? Mm -hmm. It's the press though. It tastes <laughs> It, it kind of is tasting more and more like pho. Mm -hmm. So I think the more garnish, like the more... I think you're just hiding it though. Like yeah. the, the, the base flavor is not there. Yeah. Pho has a very strong flavor and this is not strong in that way. Strong. Mm -hmm. But you don't eat pho. Normally whenever we go to a Vinery's restaurant, you don't eat pho. Mm -hmm. I do so. taste your broth though. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's it for tonight and then we'll try it again next time. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I'm going to make the pho broth again. There were a few things that I did wrong the first time, so I'm going to try something else. The first thing I did wrong was add salt, which made the broth very salty. I'll do the seasoning at the end this time. Second, I didn't blanch the bones, which made the broth not as clear in terms of flavor. It also had a weird smell. This time, I rinsed the bones after blanching them. And start with fresh water for the broth. I used both bones and meat to give it more beef flavor. I also added a little less star anise than the first time because it was too strong for my taste. Previously, I covered the broth, which I probably shouldn't have because it contributed to making the broth cloudy. I struggled a bit trying to skim off the scum because spices kept getting in the way. So I removed the spices and put them in a tea filter pod so I can skim off any foam without losing spices along the way. After two hours of simmering, the broth is ready to be strained. You can keep the beef meat and use it as topping. In this case, I decided to trash it because there was no flavor left in the meat. The broth is a lot clearer this time around.
After straining, I seasoned the broth with fish sauce and MSG. MSG really enhances the flavor of the broth. I recruited Dimitri to have a quick taste test. Tastes good. We didn't do a full tasting this time around because I got a very bad case of allergies mid-recording and didn't want to be on camera. To assemble the pho, I cooked the noodles according to the package. I used pre-sliced ribeye meat. Filet mignon is also a good cut to use if you can find some. And I added beef meatballs since they are my favorite. I topped it off with hot boiling broth and garnished it with cilantro and onions. In the end, the pho tasted good. If you like Vietnamese food, check out my app Not Pho, where you can explore other delicious Vietnamese dishes. <laughs>